Tonight, some school guards and guardians across the Bay Area went through one last step before they can protect our children. Graduation. Security programs like those all came from the Parkland school shooting aftermath and the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Safety Act. 17 people died on Valentine's Day. Broward deputies say former student Nicholas Cruz went on a shooting rampage. Nightside's Grady Tremble was in Lakeland as Polk school guardians picked up their certificates. He found out the graduates are a very diverse group of people. Ronnie Gent. At six foot three, 280 pounds, this newly graduated guardian looks like he could be an NFL fullback. That's because he was. I mean, it happens all across the country. Like when football's over, it's like, what's next? And what's next for Lakeland native Ronnie Gent required hours of grueling training. This time off the football field. Of the roughly 600 people who applied to be a Polk County School Guardian, only 87 made the cut. It's just like in my football days, you know, you got to be up for the challenge and you want to go through and make it through and that's what happened. Unlike Jen, about half of the Guardians are former law enforcement or military. Although not technically a law enforcement officer, Guardian Jocelyn Rodriguez hopes it launches her career. And children are our future and at the end of the day we need to protect our kids. Sheriff Grady Judd helped create the program. School districts across the state will soon implement it. These folks are well trained, they're special people, and they're willing to give up their life to protect your child. It is my great honor to introduce you Mr. Andrew Pollock. Andrew Pollock was also at the ceremony. Since losing his daughter Meadow in the Parkland shooting, he's made it his mission to improve safety in schools. But this means so much to me uh, that these kids are going to be safer and and my daughter just didn't die in vain, and, and we made a difference. Jocelyn Rodriguez. Pollock and these guardians hope they never need their training, but they say they're ready to use it if they do. In Lakeland, Grady Trimble, 10 News. All summer long, we've talked about guardians, school resource officers, and more. And Catalina, you've looked into all of these for us. A lot of people want to know, what is the difference? Well, Alex, there's really three different types of security personnel that you might see on any given school property. There are school resource officers, which are actually law enforcement officers with local agencies. There are school security guards who are hired by the school district, and they generally have less training than law enforcement officers. And there are what Grady just showed us, guardians. They are existing school district employees. We're talking teachers, janitors, administrators who have gone through the proper training and certification and who are armed on school grounds. Remember, school starts next Friday for Hillsborough County. All other districts start on Monday, August 13th.